Well, hello. I don't know if you'll ever see this, but if you do, that's because I got some real good internet happening somewhere. So I'm going to show you my little settlement. On the YouTube videos of Teepee Woman, there are some there of what it was at the beginning. <coughs> so, shall we begin? So these little orange things delineate or, or donate, no, denote. So we right now we're having a snowman retreat. Did you see that? Snowman retreat 2021. So they've all turned out. So over here we have, these folks have been telling me that they're the guards. People, people like it. They stop and wave or stop and visit. See, these are the, they would be lions, you know, normally, but well, we can't all be wanting lions. Unless they're second hand or something. You know. The post from that one has yet to be found again. Some wreaths, I like circles. These Christmas trees, there's 123 of them, and they are placed into the bushes, which will hold them up, as you can see this bit of a bush is doing. And then we'll have greenery, and we'll have windbreak, and we'll have floor, food for the deer, and then tinder eventually as well. Okay, so here we have the thatched cottage, and first I'll show you this handmade star made out of um, bulrushes, not cattails, but the lake ones. And here we have, this is the silent, silent theater. These are the seats, you can sit there. And, and if you've just been to the campfire and you have a warm drink, you see, you can sit and watch the silent theater. You can just watch and see what's going on. And then we have more snow people here. This one's got a leaning to him. The lean, it's the snowman's retreat might not last very long. We'll see how it goes this year. I was going to put on the sign semi-annual snowman retreat. He's lost his nose. It must be down there somewhere going to be a hole that size in the snow, right? Because it's black. I don't see it that way. We'll worry about that later. Oh, so I should continue to tell you. Well, I'll give you the details later. Let's just do the overview. This is the windbreak. It's a baffle. You see? So it blocks the way from the wind. And those boards are just leaning up there because those were my signs. I just took them down. And the door, I'll, I'll show you. This is the kitchen. This little teepee here. Uh-oh. It's not as, as weatherproof in some places as it should be. Anyway, so this is the doorway. And it's, it's plexiglass. And then I made an entrance for it. And there's another piece of plexiglass up there to let light in, but hopefully not the weather. Well, let's carry on looking at who's here for the snowman retreat. Maybe he would be willing to share a button with an, a deserving a deserving friend. Let's see if we can do that. So there's a fence row I put. I created a little fence. It's not really very good. And this is Pole Island, of course. And then from wherever you are, you can see the stream. And this little area here is the tamaracks, Willem and I. We pulled them up by the roadside and planted them. And they have all taken nicely. And it's a number of years ago. So this is a, just a, a birch tree I stuck there to give it a little bit more interest. Some, some things. Now where was the guy that lost his, his snow tooth? 
So in order to make a pathway, because we got all that snow, I just rolled it all into snowmen. Where'd it go? Well, whatever. Anyway, so we'll go past the Tamarack Nursery. And over here we have another way to get to the stream and look at it. But I haven't, I haven't done the snow for it yet. Uh-oh, our casualty. Not a casualty. But I guess the trees need to be a bit stronger than this. I guess this might have been a dead one. It slapped the thing shut. So this is the back way around. And over here we have, this is where I get water to put the fire out. And here we have a nice little shelter that doesn't quite work perfectly. This is Tisha's chair swing she gave me long ago. That needs work. The path has been played with. So over here is the campfire area. And then, of course, the birds come and this is their area. Chickadee dee dee. So, campfire area got snowed on. So some of these trees have created nice little sheltered areas. This here is the spot for watching the sunrise, sunset. Gives you a perfect view over there. If we ever have any sun, we could see it set. I have another tree there and I keep my um, things I didn't want to get snow on them. We were down here last night and didn't turn everything back over. Anyway, darn, I was going to turn them over last night. What happened? I Okay, so there we have that. We have more snowmen here. Hmm. Oh, there it is over here. No, it's gone. Oh. It's junk there. I found out that if I look in my campfire, I can find pieces of charcoal. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. This guy's leaning backwards. Huh. Maybe I should put a chair behind him, just so he doesn't fall back. Of course, you know what's going to happen. It's going to melt right onto the chair. Whatever. Okay, and then we have over here, we have the bridge. But <clears throat> our snow has kind of created a problem. And I was thinking about this snowman here and how if he falls over, I'm not going to be able to get in on my bridge. Oh, look, these are snow fleas. Yeah, he's pretty solid there, though. Sorry, snow fleas. So, it was a covered bridge. Now, we have problems. Uh-oh. Not only is it solid, it's heavy. I'm going to have to support it somehow. I'm going to have to push it over from this side or something. 
Well, maybe I'll just have to leave it and see what happens. And say, could I get in the spring, eh? Is that what you would do? So from here, see we have the line of trees. They don't go that way though. The trees, the property lines over here. This is so cool being able to film this for you. So this post here, this stump is the property line and it goes straight to the road. So it's over by that, by there is the property line. So this is all on the other side, on our side. Just give me a little bit more protection, you know, from the wind, mostly the wind and also a little bit of privacy. We'll go for a walk down there sometime, but not today. I have to stay on track. Okay, <laughs> isn't this fun? See, this I made this bridge because I need to get across the stream, but I I covered it with bark and I made railings because it's kind of crooked. The logs it's under is, are not the same size as each other. Hope we don't decide to fall over. See all those nice Christmas trees? It was bare in here before. Isn't that perfect? The birds love them. And so do the deer. Okay. So I'll show you the other side of the teepee. So over here, when I had no trees, I had nowhere to go hide in the bushes. So I made that little place to hide in the bushes. It's my little outhouse, but it's got a, a pail in it if you have to do something, you know. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Isn't it pretty? All those trees. I just love it. Some of them have fallen over. We'll deal with them later. So it's made from cedar poles, and then I use different kinds of grasses that grow out here. And here's some more of those tamaracks Willem and I transplanted. Do you know if you make a tea with tamarack bark, or tamarack twigs if you boil it, it's got some incredible properties in there. Like upper respiratory stuff help, and anyway, it was used by the natives for a long time. Oh, and we're back at the silent theater again. So now I'll tell you about the teepee itself. So I'll start a new video, okay. So, so I'm gonna tell you about the teepee. So, oh, this is built on a bench and I had some boards and so I, was able to create that. Anyway, so let's go inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything inside though. It's pretty dark in there. But I love my entrance. It's quite a nice entrance. See, and this is a nice baffle. See, I can peek over or through if I want to. <laughs> At night when they go by, they come this way and their lights reflect in the stream and it's just so pretty. Because these long columns of white light. Okay. Now I can turn on the light. I don't know if your eyes will adjust. Let me just see. A little bit. Alright, let's see what happens when we turn on this light. Can you see a little bit? There you go. See, I've got a fire extinguisher. But this is the inside of the teepee. So it's made of sedge grass, Lassiocarpa, Carex Lassiocarpa. And where it's thatched with that, it doesn't rain through. It's really good. But there are places on the edges where, on the corners, where it's not, not so perfect. In here, it's the same as it used to be. I've got a hammock on that side. And then on the other side over here, 
we have another hammock. It's rather dark in that corner. There's the hammock you see. And it's in a dark corner. Anyway, so there's the entrance way. And the ground is all covered with leaves. And I have another chair over here. And then back in here is my kitchen, which is too dark to show you anything. But And then, of course, one of the most important features is that around seven of the 15 poles goes this rope. And look at the swing. It is so awesome. Do you want me to show you how you can swing on it if you want? Let's see, where should I put you? Let's see if I can put you anywhere where you can see. Stand up and see. Standing up is important. And I don't have to turn your head down a little bit. Oh, I know I could stick you through here. No, I can't do that either. <laughs> How am I going to work this? I know, I should have figured it out first. Other people would do it that way. But this is not who I am. Huh. All right, if we turn it down like this, we'll make it go better. Can you see it now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I can swing. The best way to go is facing this direction. A no, I knew things that were over there before. If I go too hard, I'll hit the other side, but this is pretty hard for me. I try and get some exercise in here every day if I can. Especially if the weather's not very good outside. All right, well, that gives you the idea. It also mixes the air together, so. I don't know if you, what you were able to see on that. Anyway, so I would show you more, but it's pretty hard to see it, isn't it? See the swing, my container of screws, and I have basket making materials in the corner there different leaves and whatever stuff. Okay, so we'll just turn out the light and go back outside. It's pretty cool in here, eh? This is the grass hut I always wanted. I should never have. I mean, because how do you get a grass hut? I live in Canada. Well, there's these plants that are used for thatching, and if you scrounge around in your area, you might find them. different kinds of decorative grasses that grow everywhere. Alright, so I guess we've shown you everything then, haven't we? Okay then, bye!